Hi everybody, welcome to my child free life. Today I'm going to do my makeup while I talk to you about my awful neighbors that we had for 10 years and it was multiple different families and they all had really loud kids and the walls were super thin. So I'm going to talk about that whole disaster. It's also the reason why we moved. This is my mom's place. I already did a video last week talking about the living situation between my husband and I. So if you want to watch that, I'll have that in the cards as well as down below. It's hard to know where to begin, but from one to 17, I lived in a studio apartment with my parents and it was a tiny, tiny apartment in an apartment building. And obviously, <laughs> and it was, it was fine. But at the time it was all I knew. So I didn't really care about it. Right before I was going to graduate from high school, when I was 17 years old, we got a letter in the mail that they weren't going to renew our lease. So they were essentially saying either you pay, like you buy this apartment or you get out. <laughs> and my parents didn't want to buy it. I mean, it was such a tiny little place and it had like a roach infestation, like the whole building did. So, and our rent at the time was $1,000. This was years and years ago. So this is like the early 2000s. So, well actually no, it was like 2011 by the time we were leaving. So basically we were scrambling because my parents don't have good credit. So here's where you see that cycle of learned behavior and like bad habits because my parents taught me very early on to be careful with your money because they didn't want me to end up like them in debt or like doing things like that. And I just, I learned the hard way. My parents didn't have the best credit so finding an apartment to rent wasn't going to be that easy because they asked for a bunch of information so one day they started walking through the neighborhoods in our surrounding area trying to find a place for rent and hoping that they would approve us so they came across this house that was absolutely beautiful stunning it had a for rent sign but it was rent by owner and this owner we're gonna call her Manny she ended up being our super for the last 10 years and I can't stand her well actually it was her father first who ended up passing away so it was her father big old elderly man but he was very sweet but very firm but very like about the rules so he really liked my parents he didn't ask for any kind of information he was just like hey if you have the money you have the money let's do it and that was it we got the apartment it was I want to say like $1,500 but this apartment was huge I used to vlog in it like all my old videos from before I moved here you can see it and I have a video where I was talking about my loud neighbors and I was sitting in the living room and you can kind of hear them upstairs that was filmed there so I will have those videos linked down below if you want to see them I also gave a look at the whole place right before we moved beautiful stunning amazing I loved it but it came with its flaws and that was the super thin walls and flooring and that wasn't a red flag at the time because we had good neighbors when we first moved in when we were the people moving in it was just a little elderly woman in the basement I and mean, she was kind of annoying about our dog but it was just her and then upstairs it was three college students so it wasn't a big deal everything went well we moved in and we had like a couple of months of pure bliss and then the upstairs neighbors the college girls all moved out because they all had boyfriends and they were doing this that or the other and they had been living there for three years three years prior to us so once they left things were never the same. No family ever stayed in that third floor for longer than a year and a half. They just didn't last. And every family that came after was terrible. They all followed the same formula. And that's what's like really funny and ironic and also slightly frustrating. They were all big families, but they came initially. The, no, the only rule our super had once her father died, we're going to call her Maddie, like I said, the only rule she had was the number of people who are here when we're signing the lease is what's in your family. You're not allowed to bring more people in other than visits obviously and that wasn't super enforced and I'm going to tell you why later but she just didn't want more people living there than had to be I'm not sure what the reasoning was for that we also weren't allowed to buy our own washer or dryer and the unit didn't come with a washer and dryer and now I'm starting to wonder if it's because of how incredibly thin those walls and floors are yeah it was like a husband and wife or girlfriend the only reason we ever found this out is because my mom speaks Spanish and every single one of these and I speak Spanish obviously but every single one of these families spoke Spanish um and they would spill out their whole business but every single family that came with the exception of the last ones which was the breaking point had either they were the wife of the husband or they were the woman that that husband left the other person for if you know what I mean like there was a lot of baby daddies there was a lot of oh these are his kids and these are my kids and there's more kids and there's this and that and the other so not only was it about tolerating the noise of whatever noisy family was there for the year and a half but it was also who else are they going to bring into the situation that Maddie our super doesn't know about so the formula was 
dad, a baby daddy, the girlfriend who swears that she's going to change his behavior. And the woman who would come, like the wife or the girlfriend, was always, always, always expecting another baby. Every single time. With no matter what age these women were, whether they were in their early 20s or some of them were like in their mid to late 40s, they were always getting pregnant and there was always complications. And somehow, in some way, my mom always ended up being the nice person to help them out with like babysitting or something while they were in the hospital because my mom is a good person my mom she's cold-hearted like me but not really because mine goes a little further than that hers is like a front i feel like but what would happen was there was a lot of noise i am telling this story so out of order basically each family that would come there would be a lot of noise these kids would ride their scooters they would ride their bikes they were always pretty young i want to say like there, there was always multiple kids each family followed the same pattern so aside from the baby that would be born there was always like a two to three year old no like a three year old and there's always like an eight year old and then there was always babies from like the father or kids from the father's side or with his other partner or whatever was going on and those would always be older like 12 to 14 because they would make a lot more noise and they would it was just a lot like i said the walls were really thin the boiler room was really old or like the furnace i'm not sure what it was but sometimes you would have maintenance or like con edison come and they would be like this is really old, like this is not, like, I, I don't know, like something was wrong there. So Maddie tried to get us to never let them in for things. So something was going on there. There would be running and screaming and at the tone that I'm talking right now for this video, you could hear it perfectly in the floor above or the floor below. So we were all kind of suffering. I'm not trying to say that me and my family were perfect tenants. I'm sure some of us step really hard. I know my husband steps really hard. No one below us ever complained to us about our stuff, but we definitely complained about the people upstairs. We never called the cops or anything. So there's this, I don't know, every city is different. This is what confuses me. Like any noise after a certain time period, I want to say it's like 10, 10, 30, you can call the police for like a noise complaint. We never ever did that. Or we're not going to involve the police especially because a lot of these families were not documented. I didn't want to run the risk of bringing police over and like, I don't know, God forbid something would happen. I know I definitely sound ridiculous when I talk about it, but when I tell you that this noise was just unbelievable, that I, I just couldn't, I like no amount of like no sound machine, television, stereo could cover what we were hearing. It, it, it was beyond anything that I could think of and it never ended. That was the sucky part that it was it was never really like all right well at 7 p.m. these kids are gonna get ready for bed or like at 9 p.m. they're gonna start going to bed. It was never really like that. Um, they just kept going and going and going and I feel like they were never asleep and even when the kids I think were asleep the adults would like move furniture at the at like 2 a.m. I would wake up and I would just hear furniture dragging not like a rocking noise but like dragging falling things would fall like things would hit the ground like it was a lot it was a lot and it just never ended there was never really a break unless they exited their house and there was the moms always stayed home obviously it was just a constant noise at all hours of the time with every single family it never changed like there was all this communication and we would start off fine um because like i said my parents spoke spanish so my parents would try to figure out a solution like hey is it possible if like the noise can be kept in the living room and not the bedrooms or like stuff like that because the living room area of each floor well minus the first floor but of the second and third floor we did the second these people and then the third was quite large it, like it was big it was a dining room and it was a living room and they just didn't care they didn't care and i know at that point you're just like oh well either you take it or you leave and we did leave but it took us 10 years or like 11 years of kind of hoping that each family was going to be different to uh, for us to finally be like you know what i can't especially because my mom my mom is i'm not trying to diagnose my mom but there are issues there um because she's scared to go to therapy but she has stuff she's very obsessive she has like heavy heavy mood swings and the noise would get to her like when she was not outside of the house it would really get to her more than the rest of us so that didn't help either and then there would be arguments and like i said they would start bringing people that didn't live here you would start seeing kids of all ages suddenly living in a place that is already paper thin and we're already having issues because there was also issues with the the temperature and the heating so for some reason the second floor had the panel that controlled the heating for the whole building the house because it's multi-level 
house or whatever so we had that and we would listen to the instructions because sometimes it would be too expensive and i think maddie the super paid for that so she would want us to keep it at a certain level but when we would the first floor would complain to us being like hey it's too hot we're, we're boiling and then the third floor would come to us and be like it's cold like freezing the kids are freezing oh no and like it was this whole thing where it's like well what are we supposed to do because if we raise it too much, then then it's going to be an issue. So that was an issue as well, being the one that had the control panel. This concealer is too light for my skin. Oh my goodness. I cannot color match myself for the life of me. That reminds me. Also, trash. Like, every single one of these families, like, didn't want to take their own trash. Like, they would just leave it there, kind of expecting my parents to do it. Because my parents did do it. When every family would move in, like, the first couple times, my parents as a courtesy would do it but you can't sometimes you give people an inch and they take a whole mile so we would they would take out the trash for them and then it was expected of them to do it like then the neighbors were like all right if, if they're gonna do it then we're not gonna do it and i remember one time i was like no no one's gonna take out this trash for anyone else because there was different floor cans at that point at first there wasn't it was like just a couple cans but then there were some that were labeled first floor second floor third floor so i was like no we're only going to take out the second floor and everything else is going to stay there and the other trash from our neighbors stayed there for so long that there was maggots at the bottom of that trash can it was disgusting because they didn't care and they didn't properly dispose of their trash and if you live in a building like the super takes care of it or you just dump it in the curb and that's fine in our neighborhood you get fined for that and we did end up getting multiple fines and i know that really pissed off our super because we got those fines because of the neighbors upstairs like every family just would throw their junk in a crazy way and the trash collectors would come and then some they would fine us they would give us like 200 dollars tickets um you know my mom had tried explaining it to them like oh here's how you do it in case they didn't know and it's not that they didn't know it's that they didn't care all these families they didn't care so eventually they would all leave usually they would leave because they couldn't afford it because they were they were, had to rent it out to other people themselves and then the super would find out and then i don't know they all left for different reasons i think the super blames us for that i think for one or two families one of the children needed like a wheelchair eventually like stuff was happening police were coming like there was reports of stuff i don't know investigations nothing to do with us because each family was slightly different each family was slightly different in the cases so obviously i don't want to bore you and talk about every single thing because we also didn't know everything and the only reason we would find things out is because they would either tell my mom about it or we would hear it through the, the floors and the walls that's what i'm saying when i say it was thin you could hear conversations like as if i lowered the volume of whatever was playing i could definitely hear everything word for word also the also the wiring in the house sucked because sometimes the kids would run upstairs and it would happen to be right above where our ceiling light is and it would flicker and it would like go off and then when they would run it again it would turn on and then back and forth so it was a lighting issue it was just very old very beautiful very affordable at the time but old so fast forward to 2021 that awful family left and then in came a family that broke the pattern so it was two men at, at this point we were just kind of like expecting the worst but these two men came and they were very quiet the first couple days and we're like whoa it almost just seemed too good to be true and in fact it was so these two men came and i guess they told maddie they were like oh it's just us two blah 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 like we work construction all day and we come home so it was fine at first and then i want to say the second day sorry it's cloudy and it's going the clouds are coming in and out i want to say the second or third day they came after work they were dropped off by their friends, but their friends all exited this big van with like multiple packs of beer. And then some of the men started peeing on our front yard. Mind you, they have a brand new toilet because I saw it before while they were renovating that place. They got a brand new toilet and you're letting your friends, you're letting your friends pee outside. Like that was disgusting. And it was like a lot of pee and you could hear it. And it's like, it was just, it was just really gross. Mind you, we're in a neighborhood with a lot of kids. Like it wasn't just kids upstairs, it was kids everywhere. Like in all these houses, it's a very beautiful suburban area. It was gross and it, it happened often. Like it was kind of a routine and these men would just stay upstairs and drink and fight women. Like it was just a bunch of women coming in. And then sometimes like they would fight over the women you would just hear punches being thrown and they would like hit the floor really hard and like they were like wrestling on the floor and they were like fighting over these women that were coming over to this day i still don't know 
who was who or like who was the girlfriend of who but there was at, at, at after a certain point a woman that always stayed with you guessed it a child this child was super loud he he just was living the time of his life mind you we have a backyard and we have a front yard kid would run upstairs all the time with his scooter with his bike with his like tricycle I, he was pretty big it wasn't a tricycle this this boy was like six or seven probably one of the older boys that we've ever had broke that pattern of the mom always being pregnant i don't think she was i think they got kicked out because they weren't paying their rent enough we weren't the only family complaining downstairs they were complaining as well and downstairs one of the women she worked for maddie in a different situation like she was like a housekeeper for one of her hotels or something because apparently she owned a lot of property she complained to her and she took her seriously the, the the people upstairs those two men would allow the little kid to rip off the flowers of the people downstairs like they plant these beautiful flowers and they have this garden and this kid would just come and break things run over them pee obviously pee on it yeah because the little boy peed outside too i guess he just follows the example of the adults at some point there was a two-year-old and somehow not a two-year-old a three-year-old somehow this three-year-old found a way while they were all drunk and everything upstairs he found a way to go out of the apartment which was the third floor down the stairs past us outside of the building he must have gotten locked out after he exited and he was like crying outside and my mom looks out the window and she sees a little boy crying so she goes down there she's like what like what's going on like why are you out here alone and i don't even know if that boy could verbalize but he was just like i he was like pointing upstairs to the third floor so my mom was like ringing to catch their attention so that they can like buzz us in or look out the window and they were so drunk and so much fooling around that they didn't realize that the child was not there so my mom took the kid upstairs all the way to the third floor they wouldn't answer the door and then finally more men as if there wasn't already enough more men were coming with more beer more liquor and that's when they're like look she was like look take this kid with you because why is he outside and they're like oh yeah yeah sure so bad for that kid because clearly he was not being taken care of if he was able to exit the whole building and you didn't even realize i said building it's a house either way they ended up getting kicked out but at that point we were just done with it and we didn't complain to them didn't even bother because she hated us so much at that point even though we were her best family like we decorated we cleaned we shoveled snow we maintained that house and it looked beautiful and our house even indoors was the best kept one because what happened was that a lot of these families would come and we would start getting like pest issues that we didn't have before i think the only pest we had that just come with the house is centipedes house centipedes which creeped me out so much because there's a garden there but we never had roaches we never had mice until these families started coming in and i think it's because they wouldn't take their trash out not not even from the curb to the to the sidewalk they weren't taking it out at all to the garbage cans downstairs why were they holding on to that much trash no idea but i remember every time family would move out there was a lot that had to be taken care of because it was left so disgusting like there was deep stains of like kid piss and like a bunch of other things um every time like a couple families moved down moved out from downstairs as well but yeah it was just crazy we ended up already leaving at that point and we gave her like i think a one week notice like hey we're gonna leave at the end of the month i know she was just like oh why didn't you tell me and like we weren't gonna give her that courtesy because she had been so shitty to us so once those people were kicked out i'm sorry i forgot to mention this i was like hey why don't i move upstairs with my husband we were just about to get married i was like i can move upstairs and that way no matter how much noise i make with my husband it's not gonna matter because it's my parents living downstairs and that way we can live here longer because we did really love the place but i knew she was gonna want to charge me more I called her and i was like hey i'm interested in renting the third apartment i'm moving in with my husband blah 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 and she was just like oh do you even work why would you ask that ma'am why would you ask that if i am coming to you and saying that me and my husband or soon to be husband my fiance want to move in why would you not think that i have money like what the hell it was so rude the way she said it and i was like yeah that's why i'm calling you and she was gonna raise the rent so it was 1500 right for downstairs exact same floor exact same everything like yeah they repainted and stuff but whatever she was gonna charge us 2300 for a three-bedroom apartment this by the way this is new york city so that's not that abnormal like in terms of pricing I know if you live in the Midwest or you live in Texas and obviously you're gonna get big houses for very little money but in New York City it's not really like that 2300 was a lot it was a little bit over our budget um and I just at that point I was just over her and the way she responded to me and I was just like nah like it's fine like I'll get back to you uh, we ended up just leaving after we left she ended up hiring like a professional realtor person to sell the apartment or to rent it and she was charging oh my god I can't even remember she was charging because I found it on Zillow she she was charging like three thousand something for this three bedroom apartment that is so old so rickety only one bathroom and guess what no one took the bait like no one like that thing that apartment was there 
since May of last year and it's still there but now she has actually lowered the price to something slightly more reasonable but yeah she it no one wanted that place I'm not sure from an outsider's point of view why no one wanted that apartment maybe because it doesn't have a washer or dryer maybe it was just really the price so we were searching for a house we were stressed because like I said bad credit nothing changed within those 10 years I guess it did a little like my dad's credit got better but we ended up finding a four bedroom two bathroom place for like two thousand three hundred dollars is where we're living in now and I, we're on the top floor if I'm being honest I think these houses are better than where we were it's like across a couple of streets and blocks but me it was something that was worth it like yeah we're paying more here but there's peace of mind I can actually read like this year I actually read I couldn't read before without having a sound machine without having my tv blasting without having music because you could just hear everything like boom, 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 like just heavy heavy stomping so we moved and my mom isn't super happy about it because obviously we did downsize a little bit but for me it was worth it and deep down she knows it was worth it too she's just really stubborn and she really likes to decorate and she does have limited space because we have such a big dining table but if you follow me on on bunny janie on instagram then you already seen that but anyway that is it that is my story if you made it to the end of this long video thank you so much for watching i will see you very soon with another video bye